Namaste dear children, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see in CRT Classic Science Chapter 4 Exploring Magnets Multiple Choice Questions. Children, I have already uploaded chapter explanation videos of exploring magnets. Those who have not watched, please go through it. Children, please like, share, hype and subscribe this channel. First one, in olden days, sailors mostly used dash to find directions at night. Options are sun, stars, moon, mountains. Which is the correct answer? Stars. In olden days, sailors used stars to find directions at night. Second one. What device did Reshma discover that sailors used to find directions without stars? Options are a telescope, a magnetic compass, a sundial, an hourglass. Which is the correct answer? A magnetic compass. She learned that the travelers used a device known as a magnetic compass for finding directions. What were the magnets used by sailors in olden days based on? Options are pieces of iron, plastic, naturally occurring magnets known as lodestones, artificial magnets. The magnets used by sailors in the olden days were based on naturally occurring magnets known as lodestones. So, which is the correct answer? Option C is the correct answer. Next one, artificial magnets can be found in. Options are pencil boxes, toys, stickers, all of these. Which is the correct answer? All of these. The magnets that you find in your school laboratory, those used in pencil boxes, stickers, toys are all artificial magnets. Which of the following materials will be attracted to a magnet? Options are wood, iron, rubber, glass. Which is the correct answer? Option B, iron. The materials which are attracted towards a magnet are called magnetic materials. The metal iron is a magnetic material. Nickel and cobalt are other metals that are also magnetic. Next one, the two ends of a magnet are called, options are edges, poles, corners, points, which is the correct answer, poles. The ends of the magnet are called the two poles of the magnet, the north pole and the south pole. Most of the iron filings stick to which part of a magnet? Options are middle, Poles, everywhere equally, none. Which is the correct answer? Option B, poles. Most of the iron filings stick to the poles of a magnet of any shape. Next one, a single north pole or south pole of a magnet can exist, cannot exist, exist sometimes, exist only in big magnets. Which is the correct answer? Cannot exist. It is not possible to obtain a magnet with a single pole. If a magnet is broken into smaller pieces, north and south poles always exist in pairs. Even in the smallest piece of the magnet, a single north pole or a south pole cannot exist. Next one, a freely suspended magnet always rests along. Options are east-west direction, north-south direction, any direction, up-down direction. Which is the correct answer? North-south direction. A freely suspended magnet rests along the north-south direction because our earth itself behaves like a giant magnet. Next one, what is the name of the pole of a freely suspended magnet that points towards the north? South Pole, South Seeking Pole, South Facing Pole, 
North Seeking Pole. Which is the correct answer? North Seeking Pole. The end of the magnet that points towards the north direction is called the North Seeking Pole or the North Pole of the Magnet. Similarly, the other end that points towards the south direction is called the South Seeking Pole or the South Pole of the Magnet. The needle of a magnetic compass comes to rest in which direction? Options are east-west, north-south, north-east, south-west, random direction. Which is the correct answer? Option B, north-south direction. Next one. When the north pole of one magnet is brought near the south pole of another magnet, they Options are repel each other, attract each other, break into pieces, do not move. Correct answer is attract each other. The unlike poles of two magnets, that is the north pole of one magnet and the south pole of another magnet, they will attract each other. What about like poles? The like poles, that is either the north poles or the south poles of both magnets, repel each other. Unlike poles attract each other, like poles repel each other. Which property is used to identify a magnet? Options are attraction, repulsion, then shining, weight which is the correct answer, repulsion. Next one, if we bring a magnet near an iron bar, both ends of the iron bar are Attracted by both poles of the magnet, repelled by both poles of the magnet, attracted only by the south pole, repelled only by the north pole. Which is the correct answer? Attracted by both poles of the magnet. The both ends of the iron bar will be attracted by both the north and south poles of the magnet. When the north pole of a magnet is brought close to the north pole of a compass needle, the needle moves closer, moves away, does not move, breaks. Which is the correct answer? Moves away. When the north pole of a magnet, see this picture, it is brought close to the north pole of a compass needle. What will happen? The needle moves away. When the south pole of the magnet, see this picture, when the south pole of the magnet is brought closer to the north pole of the compass needle, it moves closer. What happens to the compass needle when a piece of wood is placed between it and a magnet? It stops deflecting, it deflects less, no appreciable change occurs, it reverses its poles. Which is the correct answer? No appreciable change occurs. See this picture here, a piece of wood is placed between the magnet and the compass needle. Here we can observe that there is no appreciable change in the deflection of the needle when a piece of wood is placed between the magnet and the compass needle. So we can conclude that the magnetic effect can act through non-magnetic materials. Children, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. The short answer questions of this chapter will be soon uploaded. Thank you.